Last week, after years of anticipation and failed attempts, I finally got a chance to interview Gordon Lightfoot. I don't know why we kind of expected that Gordon Lightfoot would live in some sort of subdued, shabby, chic, kind of a folksy environment, and it is, uh, it is properly a, a mansion. Lots of paintings of the Edmund Fitzgerald, not surprisingly. He became obsessed with it when he wrote that song, so he started collecting various artists' uh, renditions of the Edmund Fitzgerald. We were setting up for an interview in his study, where he writes all of his music, where he wrote uh, his last album, uh, right around the time of his divorce. And so that's where we set up. I really liked it. I like being in a space where people that's create. That's part for all the lovely ladies. I'm fascinated with the artists and that alleged link between uh, being very wild and maybe dabbling in some substances and creativity. Is it, does it hinder creativity? Does it help hit creativity? I, w I was drinking a lot. I was drinking a bottle, like a bottle a day. The highlight of the interview happens for me. Uh, we were told that he would not play for us. I mean, people like this don't really play unless they're properly mic'd and all the audio is done. He starts telling me about a song that he wrote uh, uh, called Inspiration Lady. It was off his last CD in the early 90s uh, in an attempt to get his wife back. They, their relationship had hit the rocks. They ended up divorcing anyway. But he starts and he said, oh, do you want me to play it for you? He just picks up the guitar. He Goes starts like playing as an arts reporter. This is the kind of moment you live for. I almost didn't want to breathe. I was just kind of standing there very cautious but very relaxed because you don't want to freak them out with your vibes. She's an inspiration lady. Inspiration everywhere. He has a little bit of a reputation of being a recluse, a little bit of a reputation of being a bit grumpy with the media. I think he wanted to open up and tell his side of the story. 